Hello everybody, in today's video I show you how to blow your tranny. The next day. Well, that might have been a problem. I don't know. Uh. You don't get to see it from this view very much. But yeah, I blew the tranny. You can hear it. Something's loose in there. It doesn't help that the, this is cracked like that. That was from my dad. Instead of putting it into third gear, he put it into reverse and locked up and snapped that off. But this stuff isn't made for it, so I guess whatever. If anybody wants to hook me up with a five speed transmission, you know. No, I don't need one, but well, I do need one, but. Anyways, I'll figure it out myself. But, you know, I guess maybe I'll make this its own video, so. Many months later. Alright, now it's springtime out. And I think I'm ready to rip into this thing. Because we have the John Deere now, as you might have seen. Which I think I'm gonna rob the five speed out of it and put it in here. So, now I guess I need to get this transaxle out, so take the tires off, jack it up. Back it up, take the tires off, then take the chains off, and then see about unbolting the transept. All right, well, hands are dirty, but got the chains off and the wheels. There's Simon. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, um, you know, get time to get this puppy out there, I guess I got the shift knob off, so, just a couple bolts, I guess, and then see if we can get it out of there. So I'm pulling this Transax out here, and, you know, this thing hasn't been treated the best, and just look at, look at the bolt there, can you see that? That, that's clearly not straight. And then if we look in here... There's bits of transaxle. That's like, I can just move that with my finger. Right there. There, I broke it off. So, aluminum coming out of here. Wow. Yeah. That's what happens when you put it into reverse instead of third. Yep. The impact barely fits in here. Belt on. There. It's basically out. Just the gear shifter holding it in now. So, yeah. Let's try to get it all the way out. There it is. I'm gonna try to shimmy it out of there with the gear shifter still. Here you can see my problem. This is in neutral, right? And then I give it a spin and it, it moves. And then I try to put it into a gear and it won't go into gear. There it went into first. Now it's locking up. 
something's something's not happy in here. And you can see this all broken there, and yeah, we'll, we'll have to dig into it. But, you know, I think it's good when there's a giant crack running along the whole transmission. You can see grease is starting to ooze out there. Oh, the pulley just falls off. Wow. Well, the bushing's still good that I replaced there. There's the pulley. Maybe go to a smaller pulley or a smaller sprocket. More top speed. But yeah. They're definitely not built for speed, I can tell you that. All right, I think I have every bolt out. So we're going to try to pop this out again. All right. There's the case. Wow. You can see, look at the crack there. Wow, look at that. That's very thick uh, grease. Anyways, I'll look around in here for a bit, see what I can see. Same crack right here. There's some water in here. trying to look for some gears that are broken or something. Anyway. Alright, so all I can see, I mean, the, the gears, they, they, they work. Like, it, it spins. Everything spins. Um, in here, the only thing I could see is water here. Um, there's this nasty crack and this thing moves. Do you see that? So, yeah, and then there's also a crack right here, and then there's a crack right here, too, but a mosquito. Well, anyways, but I don't know, I think I'll just put it back together, maybe. Well, no, I can't, because I need to see if the, um, see if I need to switch these out for the other transaxle. So, yeah. So that's what I need to do. Anyways, my hands are greasy. They were worse, but I needed to turn the camera on. Uh, <coughs> there's Simon. Simon. What? Alright, got the hydro, and I've got a chain, and we're gonna drag this puppy back over there. It has two flat tires on this side, so I don't know, it'll be fine. Alright, got the chain hooked up like that. I found the bolt under there, so let's see what happens. This tire is completely flat, and this tire is completely flat. But the hydro's doing it. Yeah, that's how it should be. Alice Romer's pulling John Deere. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if we can make this thing go a bit more. You know, they should start hiring me to do it.
actually has a pretty comfortable seat on it. Let's see if the brakes work on this thing. Eh, not really. Anyways, I better Here's the transaxle out. Anyways, I don't know if this will fit. I have to do some measuring, like that type of measuring. And anyways, so I'll do the measuring and look. A few inches later. Anyways, this transaxle is a couple inches wider. Let's see here. Does that say Spicer? Anyways, so, well. We'll see if it'll fit, I don't know. Anyways, but I'm gonna leave the video there. It's been a while, so, yep. I don't know. This is kinda cool here, that has double these. Anyways, that's enough talking. I like the clutch here, look at that. Wow, it's a double pulley clutch in this. Anyways, there's the gas tank, look how big that is. I don't know, it's just long. Anyways. I'm going to leave it here. Enjoyed. You know what to do. Don't know what that is. Anyways, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards.